Hey guys, so welcome to day four of me being on Jenny Craig. I'm gonna start this video off by showing you guys day one weight, day two, day three, and day four. So here it is. 517.8. So I am steadily losing weight. I know um, Jenny Craig lets you know that the first week you will drop the most amount of weight and then pretty soon it just kind of evens it out. And they also make it known that the second week you usually lose a very low amount which happens a lot, I notice, like when you're changing your lifestyle, like week one is like, woo! Week two is like, Ugh! And then so on and so forth. If you are just like keeping it steady and easy, then your weight drops off pretty good. Okay, so I noticed you guys can see the time. I don't hide that from you. My sleeping schedule is really bad. I don't know why people hate on it because I usually only get about four hours of sleep. I know you're supposed to get eight. That's probably why I take a nap so it's not like I'm sleeping all day because I've slept for 12 hours if that makes sense average night sleep is actually seven hours I know probably some of you only get like two hours of sleep I'm not trying to like downgrade that so first meal we have a serving of milk so it's 1% milk we have a serving of fruit which I chose an apple and we have a sunrise scramble. We have spinach, tomato, cheese. Ugh, it looks and smells so good. So I'm curious as to how this one's gonna treat me because when I have scrambled eggs, I wanna say about 80% of the time, it makes me feel super sick. Like I get nauseous, my head sometimes hurts. I get stomach cramps that are really bad. So, it's not every time, so I'm going to give it a chance. All right. Here we go. This is what it looks like up close. Ooh, looks so good. Oh, bitch. It tastes homemade. That's what I'm shook about. Like, all of these Jenny Craig meals literally taste like homemade doesn't taste like processed food, prepared food, frozen food. It literally tastes like you just made it. Okay, so we are on meal two, which is snack one, which I've had before. This is the chocolate fudge brownie, an ounce of protein and another protein. So I just choose, cause you, uh, it's confusing. So you get to choose what protein you wanna do, um, what healthy fats you wanna do, what veggies you want to do. They have a list of like, okay, so if you choose green beans, this is how many you can have as a serving. If you choose um, chicken lunch meat, this is how much you can use as a serving. So that's how they do it. Also, I get to choose my fruits. I don't know if I said that. And I chose an orange or a clementine, whatever. But like I said in a previous video, I like to wrap this and eat it like this. So good. This is the rotisserie lunch meat, which is my favorite. And obviously I don't need to do a taste test on this because I've already done it. Okay, you guys, so it is time for meal three, which is lunch. So before I share with you guys what I'm having for lunch, you see food right here. I think it was day one, you guys saw Becky making spaghetti. And you guys were saying things like, oh my God, why is she making so much spaghetti? You know, Amber Lynn's gonna binge on that. Da, da, da. Becky makes enough food for her to have leftovers. So right here, she has pork chops. They're very thin pork chops. They smell delicious and look delicious. As you can tell for her um, meal, she had two of them. This is leftover. I know you guys can still sit there and say, well, you're probably still eating it. If I was, that I probably wouldn't have dropped as much weight as I did. So I just wanted to clarify. So we are having serving of a fruit, which is half of a banana. We're having a garden salad with Jenny Craig creamy herb dressing, which you guys already saw me try. And we're having lasagna. So I'm ready to try this because it smells and looks good. Oh yeah cheese spinach oh i 
love lasagna. It is so good. So let's see if this is up to par. Delicious. It is super like creamy, cheesy. There's also meat in there. Something I've noticed about Jenny Craig that I thoroughly love, all their pasta is a beautiful texture because I hate like mushy pasta. It's so gross and it's not that at all. Okay, fourth meal, which is a snack. Really simple. The other half of the banana. What I do is obviously I cut it in half. This huge baggie is ridiculous. So we went and actually bought some small ones we just got home literally and I'm like so hungry <laughs> so this is how I do it I keep it in the fridge and now it's nice and cold so we have a serving of fruit and we have a serving of 1% milk so this snack is always pretty much the same thing that's what I'm kind of really enjoying about Jenny Craig it's like I'm trying to memorize when I get the salad when I get the veggies when I get the fruit when I need the fat, when I need the extra protein. I thoroughly actually am in love with Jenny Craig. Like I can say that, I know it's only been high fourth day, but I really like it. Okay, so, <laughs> well, um, I binged. This is why I have scheduled an appointment to see a therapist. I finally took the plunge and obviously no matter what eating plan I choose, I will never stick to it unless I heal the mental problems. This has absolutely nothing to do with Jenny Craig because it's amazing. This has nothing to do with Weight Watchers. Also amazing, counting calories, anything like that. This is everything to do with me. And it has taken me some time, we all know this, for me to realize that. That it's not about, oh, Weight Watchers doesn't work or, oh, counting calories doesn't work. No, it's my brain don't work. My willpower don't work. And I give in too easily. And... Apparently, food is more important to me than losing weight. And that's mentally challenging because deep within my heart, I love myself enough to want this so badly, but it's like something's stopping me. So that's why therapy is just the way to go. I can easily sit here and tell you guys that I stayed on track and I did great. I could completely squash this video, but that's not what this is about. What this is about is being honest with my audience and letting you guys know I effed up.